from the News Channel 12 Network. Now, it's time for the 11 a.m. Catch-Up with Laurente, Tanner, and Robert. Channel 12 viewers and welcome to the 11 a.m. catch up with Laurente Barbie and me Robert Dobbs. Tanner Hill will not be with us today but Laurente Barbie is here and he's going to give you a quick weather update while we get started. All right weather wise uh, weather wise across the mid-south we are dealing uh, you can see we've got some sunshine uh, across our area right now and uh, let me tell you something the weather sure is uh, dandy out here right now it's a little bit on the cool side warm conditions out there let's uh, let's show you a look at radar really quickly here is a live look uh, at radar for you right now we're watching uh, some showers that are moving that is tracking up uh, to the north uh, so some of our western Tennessee counties here. Uh, if you're in parts of Lexington, Perryville, Henderson, Wildersville, uh, Huntington, there's some showers moving through parts of your area. Sillerton, Selmer, and Henderson, again, some showers moving through your area. Savannah, Tennessee, we've got some area showers moving through parts of your area. Again, the key thing that we're going to be watching for for the area this uh, this afternoon is one or two stronger storms could be on the strong side for us this afternoon. Again, we've got a marginal risk out uh, for the area the, uh, for the area this afternoon for Western Tennessee. Again, primary threats with this is going to be uh, damaging winds and of course heavy downpours. I'll talk more about that in just a few minutes, but let's get it right over to Robert with a check of your morning news. All right, today on the morning headlines, a jury could hear the recanted confession of Joseph Daniels today. And his wife, Crystal, is set to take the stand and uh, testify that she does not believe that he killed Joe Clyde. Police identified a woman found shot and killed in a Nashville alley. And now I'd like to cover a little bit of sports. Real quick, there's only one thing that needs to be talked about in Tennessee sports today, and that is Tennessee's acquisition of the wide receiver Julio Jones from the Atlanta Falcons. All right, this is going to make Tennessee very dangerous offensively because Jones is one, he's hard to double team. And two, even if you do double team him, they're just going to open up another receiver for the quarterback to hit. Now, Tennessee is also, from what I understand, in the process of looking for other offensive key players. One would hope that they would get a running back in to help Derrick Henry. Someone with the cutting ability of Alvin Kamara would be nice, but let's not hold our breath. And we also need to understand that Tennessee's defense is being pieced together again. As we know, their defense was not very good last year, but their defense is going to be stepped up again this year. They haven't released anything as to who's playing what position, who's coming in from free agency, and we don't really know exactly who they picked up for their defense in the draft just yet. But... If you tune in, we will have all of this information as it comes to you. And now back to Laurente Barbie. All right, weather-wise across the Mid-South, good morning to you, Spencer. How you doing? Good to hear from you out there. Again, let's talk radar really quickly because we are seeing some of those showers trying to move through uh, parts of the area right now. We've been watching some uh, in parts of western Tennessee for you out there. By the time this hits uh, Metro Nashville, I do expect some of these storms to kind of uh, die down just a bit. Uh, but still, they could be on the strong side out there. So we'll make sure to keep you up to date with that. Uh, again, here in uh, Nashville, we've got uh, the Sounds versus the Indianapolis uh, game coming up there out there tonight at 7.05 uh, p.m. So if you're going to be out and about, the first pitch, we'll see some showers and thunderstorms. We'll put in about a 50% chance uh, for a rain and storm chance out there for you. And that's during the first pitch. The seventh inning stretch, we'll see about 76 degrees. We'll still keep a shower and storm chance in uh, across the area. But again, and then in the ninth inning, uh, we will uh, still have some showers uh, and storms uh, across the area. But again, we'll see those temperatures in the uh, lower 70s out there. So not uh, excessively too bad uh, across the area. Now, right now, let's show you radar really quickly. This is a look, again, that is the only uh, shower that we have right now not severe where we're not seeing any lightning being detected with this but i'll show you the bigger picture here good morning anna how you doing 
uh, we'll show you the bigger picture here, uh, here in Middle Tennessee. We're seeing uh, dry skies right now. And as you can see behind me here, uh, we've got sunshine right now across the area. So good weather for you the, the today. But this afternoon, this evening, things will come to an end. Uh, we've got a marginal risk that is in effect for areas in our uh, western Tennessee's uh, area, areas east of I-65. We're going to continue with just a general thunderstorm uh, across the area. So we are going to continue to monitor these things. Again, um, I'll show you really quickly here, zooming in just a little bit. Uh, so again, Scotts Hill, get ready for some heavy, heavy downpours your way. Liberty, Tennessee, get ready for some uh, for some showers moving off towards your way. We've also got some towards the Big Sandy area and the Camden, Tennessee area that's trying to move on off towards the uh, Dover, Tennessee area for you. So we're going to watch that very, very carefully here. But if you are in parts of Gallatin uh, right now, we are under... Uh, Clear skies. We've got sunshine out there. So nothing in the big way uh, of anything major with this. So we're going to continue to keep you up to date with that. Let's take a look up towards the uh, Hopkinsville area and some of the Kentucky areas looking dry uh, across the area right now. And uh, I think Anna wants to be a part of this video. Uh, so Anna, just hang on just a sec. We'll get you in uh, here in just a few. But again, like I was saying, good weather. Uh, let's talk about uh, some of you got any outdoor uh, activities at around noon. We're looking at 82 degrees out there. There could be a few storms across the area. Scattered showers and storms still continuing between 2, 4, and 6 p.m. with temperatures between 84 and 82 by 6 p.m. Uh, and like I said, this morning we saw some showers across the area. So really not that bad. All right. It wasn't that bad at all. I'll have more uh, coming up on your seven day in just a few minutes. But right now it's time to get a check of your local news and sports with Robert. All right. Now, I know he said local news and sports, but right now I want to talk about something that's on my mind, and that happens to be the COVID-19 pandemic. All right. Now, I know everybody is sick of hearing about COVID-19. It's like an ex-girlfriend that won't go away. Well, I get it. I'm sick of COVID-19, too, but it's still out there, and there still needs to be awareness spread. For example... People who think they've been vaccinated no longer have to wear masks or social distance. Now, this is true. The president did say if you've been uh, vaccinated that you don't have to wear a mask in public unless you're greater er, in greater groups than two or more. But here's the thing. A vaccine does not in any way, shape, or form make you immune to anything. It just boosts the immune system enough to where it can handle what's going on in your body Without you, with less chance of you having to be hospitalized. You can still catch COVID-19 with a vaccination, and you can still pass it around like hotcakes at a party. So do yourself a favor. <laughs> if you've been vaccinated, social distance when you can, and wear your mask if you're out in public and where there's gatherings of people. And I'm not talking about two or three people. I mean large gatherings. Like you go to Walmart at 3 a.m., you should be okay. But if you're going to the grocery store when you get off work and, you, and you've been vaccinated, still wear your mask. It's about respect for others. It's about respect for yourself. It's about taking care of your body. Maintain that social distance of six feet because it's still very real and it's still very crucial that we do what we can to curb this illness. If you have any questions about COVID-19, don't call me because I'm in no way <laughs> near an expert. But you can get on the CDC's website and read that information that they have up there. It's updated daily, almost hourly. They stay on top of this stuff really, really well. So just prepare yourself. Take care of yourself. And now for our closing points, here's Laurente Barbie. All right, again, we're still watching out for the threat of some strong to severe storms out there. It is 11.06. Good morning, everybody. Uh, you are tuning in to the 11 uh, a.m. catch-up show with uh, I, myself, and uh, Robert himself. And then again, of course, Tanner was supposed to be with us today, but he will not be with us today. Uh, and uh, we do have some breaking news, and I'll let uh, uh, Robert get to that breaking news in just a sec. Just come in. Uh, but again, more scattered showers and storms, of course, will be developing again today. Uh, this afternoon, though, warm and humid, possible scattered showers and storms. Some of those could be on the strong side areas west of I-65. So we're going to keep that in mind. Uh, but if you're 
to our east though by the time this is the that storm system gets to the nashville area again we're looking at uh uh we're looking at kind of not intense storms that's what we're looking at not intense storms but still some of those storms could still pack a punch tonight mostly cloudy scattered showers and storms tomorrow again warm and humid scattered showers and storms we'll see a high near 83 um and then the winds will be out of the south between 5 to 15 miles per hour now here's the summary of this all we'll see continue to see humid conditions and daily storm chances uh, that will stick around every single day this this week and I know you're like oh why 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 do you have to give us a, a, a bad forecast I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news but I'm not gonna give you an inaccurate forecast all right I try to give it to you the truth and, and give it to you live firsthand so uh, and then again we're gonna be expecting anywhere between one to three inches of rain that will be expected by the end of the work week so make sure um, that you are following you know if you if you see some roads that can get uh, flooded pretty quickly make sure you turn around don't drown uh we're gonna go ahead and get straight to this breaking news that is about joe clyde daniels so robert's gonna talk about that and then we will go back uh we will uh take a break and then we'll come back after that so here is robert with that breaking news all right Witness testimony briefly resumed in the trial of Joseph Daniels, and jurors could hear his now recanted confession today. We are in and out of jury hearings right now about what, about what has been redacted and in the confession video. All of these are tweets coming through. Joe Clyde's older half-brother, Alex, testified that he saw Joseph beat Joe Clyde and carry him out of the house and down the road. His testimony was different than what he told investigators right after Joe Clyde went missing. In his first interview with the Child Advocacy Center, he said Daniels did nothing wrong. In the second interview, a few days later, he gave a wild account about blue men, blood apples, tigers, and teleporting. Alex told the jury on Monday that he was taking sleeping medication at the time and was afraid someone would harm him if he told the truth. He also testified that he had repressed some of his memories due to their traumatic nature and only recently remembered them. Jessica Tickert, who interviewed Alex both times, testified that there could have been multiple reasons he changed his account given the potential trauma he experienced. Well, I don't know what to make of any of that. All I know is, is that when you're in court and you start testifying about blue men, blood apples, tigers, and teleporting, chances are... You weren't on sleeping medications. You were on crystal meth. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> Here's Laronte Barbie. All right. So uh, when we come back, uh, we are going to continue our segment of the 11 a.m. catch-up show. Again, we are going to take a quick break. We will be back at the top of the hour at 11.15. Stay with us.
Weather-wise across the Mid-South, welcome back to the 11 a.m. catch-up show with, of course, I, myself, Laurente, and of course, Robert with your local news. But let's go ahead and get you up to date with the weather right now. Here's an update on the weather right now. We're starting to see some showers starting to move through parts of Paris, Tennessee. Um, and uh, we're also seeing some parts of Selmer, Tennessee as well. Bethel Springs, Henderson, Tennessee. We're seeing some heavy, heavy downpours right now in parts of your area. Um, and again, down towards the New Albany area, we're watching again, of course, uh, for some showers moving through. Uh, and this is all going to be taking place moving up. This is all moving up north. Okay. With this, we are not seeing any strong to severe storms as of right now, but we are going to continue to keep a very close eye on it. Taking a look down towards uh, Centerville, Hickman County, where my colleague was reporting earlier this morning, we are starting to see a light band of some scattered showers starting to move through parts of the area. Take a look at Dixon right now, uh, especially down towards the uh, Robbins Chapel. We're starting to see some uh, showers moving towards your way. Tennessee City, we're seeing showers. Uh, towards your way right now. Uh, old Highway 46, I know a lot of you are messaging me saying, where are these showers going to come through? Look for these showers to take place during the uh, afternoon time. And after we get past the afternoon time, uh, they will continue to develop across the area. So we're going to continue to keep you very up to date with that. <clears throat> Uh, looking at Gallatin right now, we are bone dry. We are seeing sunshine, blue skies, you name it. That's what we're looking at right now. So no severe weather threat as of right now. Good morning, Nikki D. How you doing? We are just doing our 11 a.m. Uh, catch-up show. I know you missed the first half of it. This is part two. Um, but right now, we're going to get a check of your news and sports right now with Robert. All right, check it out. Here's the thing. You got ongoing right now. The trial of uh, what? Uh, uh, Joseph Daniels. Joseph Daniels. Joe Clyde Daniels. The you know, and Joe Clyde Daniels. All right. I am i don't want to give you just the facts. If you've been following this in the news, uh, please comment down here what you think. Is he guilty? Is he innocent? Was there an outside party involved? We want to get your opinions on what is going on. Because let's face it, it's your community too. So please chime in, weigh in on this. We'd love to hear what you have to say. If you want to comment on sports, now is the time to do it. You want to talk about the Predators, the Titans, the Nashville Sounds, whatever. Let me see your comments down at the bottom. Let me hear what you got to say. Do you think Tennessee's going to be good this season? Do you think they'll be mediocre? Do you think that Julio Jones is going to be a prophet to the team? Or do you think he's going to be a letdown? like so many others that have come through promising riches and Super Bowl wins. So please, be interactive with us. That's what we set this show up for, to connect personally with you and us. That's what this is about. Now back to the Joe Clyde Daniels case, okay? I personally, I don't know if he did it or not. I think it's still way too up in the air. I think that the jury will make the ultimately make the best decision in this instance. And I think that justice will be served in the end of all things. Because whatever is kept in shadow will come to light eventually. That's how I feel about it. And as far as sports goes, I would like to see the Tennessee Titans back in at least an AFC championship game this year. It's very, very possible. Derrick Henry is as strong as ever. If Tennessee can get a running back that has good cutting ability in the backfield to help Derrick Henry, well, the run game opens up the pass game and vice versa. So that just basically means that Tennessee is going to be that much deadlier on the, off on the offensive side of the ball. But I do agree that Tennessee needs some work defensively. All right, King come in, and King did well for his first season with Tennessee, but anybody with have a brain stem already knows that he left Tennessee during free agency for greener pastures. So with this going on in Tennessee's defense, who are we going to get to come in and clean up? Who's going to be there to protect Tannehill? Because if Tannehill gets hurt, we're pretty much screwed at the position of quarterback. So if there, I want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear your comments. I want to hear your questions. So please... 
Bring it on. Let's see. Nikki Davis says, as far as the trial, I'm not sure what to think, but I don't understand why he would confess such a horrible crime. That's very true, Nikki. I like what you're saying. It doesn't make sense that he would confess to this crime and then turn around and recant that statement. It sounds to me like he's backpedaling. Like he knows that there's going to be more to it that he's guilty of, and he's trying to keep that hidden. That's all I got for you right now. We're going to spin it back to Laronte Barbie. All right. Weather-wise, again, uh, one thing I will say, uh, Robert, is uh, Nikki Davis has a new nickname that I think you should know about. Uh, oh, really? Nikki Davis, her nickname is Nikki D. All right. I've called her Nikki D for uh, how many months? I've called you Nikki D for uh, a, a while now. <laughs> and uh, w that's her nickname for, for specifically. For, I, I started that and uh, everybody else is starting to catch on to it. So anytime I see Nikki, Nikki Davis, I'm like Nikki D. All right. Let's get you back up to date with the weather from here. We're going to continue to keep an eye on some showers uh, for you this afternoon. Uh, keeping our eye to the sky. Uh, first, let me show you uh, the latest on uh, your seven-day forecast as soon as I get everything pulled up here. We've been watching the same pattern that was out in Texas today, uh, the yesterday, and we're watching it. It's been, yeah, I, see, it's been a whole year since I've called her Nikki D and still continuing to call her Nikki D. So uh, again, uh, today we'll see a temperature right between 83, uh, 85 degrees out there for you today. Day. Um, again, here's the things that you need to know. We're going to see strong to severe storms this afternoon into the evening hours, continuing into the overnight hours. Uh, and again, it's going to be a bumpy, bumpy uh, roller coaster ride. But I promise you, the Storm 12 weather team will definitely get you through it. All right. And uh, of course, Robert himself will get you through it with the news. Of course, following breaking news, following those sports for you will definitely get you through it here. Wednesday and Thursday, we're going we're gonna to see more showers and storms. And I know you guys are like, Lorante, you are supposed to be my guy. Why are you giving us so much rain? Well, here's the deal. Some of my some of my viewers are like, Lorante, keep the rain coming. Keep it coming. We need it. The, 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 the grass is, is crying for it right now. And then some people are like, well, you know, I got outdoor plans. So this is not really what I'm looking to hear. All right. And uh, Nikki D and uh, jo uh, Joey sent me uh, some uh, photos of some rainbows this morning. Uh, this morning, it was really dark and early, and uh, they were very beautiful there. That's your forecast? Today's... <laughs> That's your forecast. <laughs> Today's high... We'll I see. could slap you right now. <laughs> that is horrible. I know. Why are you doing that to these people? <laughs> See, Nikki D says she loves a good thunderstorm. There's nothing wrong with a good thunderstorm. See, I have some followers and viewers on my side, right? <laughs> so, uh, Nikki D, uh, our high today will be right around 85 degrees, 83, 85 today. <laughs> we'll see. The normal high is 86 degrees. The record. Let's move on. <laughs> this, our storm threats today hail and tornadoes are on the low side today but <laughs> heavy and heavy rain and winds are going to be our primary threats out there <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to the seven-day forecast. All right, 85 today. Seven days. <laughs> God flooded the earth in 40 days and 40 nights. What do you think he's about to do to us now? He's going to tell you. All right, your seven-day forecast goes like this. 85 today. We're going to put in a 50% chance of some showers and storms across the area today. 83 for you tomorrow with a 60% chance of some showers and storms. Heading into Thursday, more showers and storms are in the forecast. And we are having a 60% chance for showers and storms both Wednesday and Thursday. Heading into Friday, we'll put in a 50% chance of some showers and storms. And then Saturday, I have trimmed those that the rain chance is down to about a 30% chance. All right. We're going to look at 88 degrees on Saturday. <laughs> Heading into Sunday, 87 degrees out there. And then by Monday, 
by Monday, I promise you, I, I hope that, you know, I hope that this is right. We are looking at finally a dry day in the and the forecast for Monday. No rain is expected, but we got to get through the next one, two, three, four, five, six days ahead. I promise y'all we will get through it. Uh, that is a wrap for our show. I will let Robert close out our show. Y'all have a fantastic rest of your Tuesday and come on back and see us again tomorrow at 11. All right, closing points to what we're going to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed the show. The 11 a.m. catch-up is here for fun and to be informative. It's both. As you can see today, we like interacting with y'all. So don't be afraid to send in your comments, your questions. Let us know if we're doing a good job. You know, we like having fun. That's what this is all about. <laughs> all having about. fun and getting the information out there. Absolutely. So until tomorrow, take care of yourselves and be good to each other.